Ah yes, Ed, the DLC fire to join in the lineup of Street Fighter 6. But while the audience have been clamouring for the return of sinister imposing figures such as Sagat and M. Bison, instead Capcom have chosen to present us with this fool, who looks like if Fred from Scooby Doo became an emo and joined the Hitler Youth. Which to be fair sounds almost interesting until you realise this edge little tryhard is the most embarrassing looking thing in gaming since Sega gave Shadow the Hedgehog a gun. All jokes aside about this character's ridiculous image, what might surprise you is the backstory behind this fighter is actually a little bit more interesting than any first impressions might suggest, with there being far more to this Aryan athlete than meets the eye. Whether you think his Street Fighter 6 reveal was right or wrong, there is a lot more depth to him than the stupid trailer that saw him punching idiots with boxes on their heads would suggest. So join me today as we celebrate this fighter's awesome place in Street Fighter lore, but just as importantly, why we hate him. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Big Daddy Top Pat here. This is the ridiculous story of Ed, infused with the powers of M. Bison and trained and raised by the legendary Balrog. Yeah. Before we go back through this controversial fighter's past, let's first discuss his mark on history from the last 12 months. Back in spring of last year, we would experience the now infamous Street Fighter 6 roster leak, an incident which would spoil for us the entire base roster for the game, but ultimately the game's first year of DLC Fighters 2. Out of those set to return, the fighter with perhaps the most boring and uninspiring design was of course the German Ed who could be seen sporting an emo haircut wearing boxing boots and skinny jeans. Not exactly imagery that would get you excited. Well, unless you happen to be a certain famous Austrian painter anyway. I bet you did not see another joke like that coming. Anyway, close to a year later, we would get Ed's official Street Fighter 6 teaser trailer, whereby we would witness this tall German punishing his chain-wearing victims on a train. This ludicrous scene sees him beating down individuals who are wearing boxes over their heads, which have been emblazoned with special badges showing the Shadaloo insignia, the symbol of the organisation once controlled by M. Bison. In this display of strength, like M. Bison before him, Ed utilises his terrifying psycho power, the same dark force that only flows through a few. It is worth noting though that the trailer does conclude with Ed shouting out that he's not going to be anyone's pawn, highlighting that in Street Fighter 6 he could end up becoming somewhat of a grey character. A couple of weeks later we would get to see Ed once more via his gameplay trailer, which this time began with him berating the character Avatar, threatening to punch a hole through him and telling him to stop pissing him off. As he goes to punch them in the head, it quickly revealed that he was actually talking to another one of those idiots with boxes on their heads. As his gameplay was shown for the first time, the trailer shows Ed fighting in the remnants of Shadaloo's laboratory as bizarre German language gangster rap plays in the background. Seth style when Bison replacement bodies loom in tubes in the background as Ed unleashes flurries of attacks which include seeing him laughing maniacally and hanging up Chem Masters using psycho energy as a speed bag. Cross referencing this all with the latest information on the character on the PlayStation blog, it reminds us that Ed is the troubled protege and is a bad boy of boxing with psycho power imbued within. Ed beats down his enemies with a flurry of fists to prove that he's the true high death picture of strength. In present day Street Fighter 6 he senses movement in the shadows from the remnants of Shadaloo. Ed soon discovers they have a twisted goal and needs his unique abilities to achieve it. With regards to his latest design, Street Fighter 6 game director Takayuki comments that Ed is a high speed boxer. We designed his lower half so that you can clearly see his nimble footwork and added some volume to his upper body to make his punches look impactful. We also hope you take notice of the emblem on his chest and the design on his back. His attack animations have also changed significantly from Street Fighter V. To respect his background as a traditional boxer, all his attacks are now punches except for his level 2 super art. His kick buttons have been designated to various flicker attacks. Capcom have also mentioned that with Street Fighter 6's new modern control scheme, they decided to keep his simplified inputs and incorporated them into his modern controls, while creating expanded inputs for his classic controls. Ed now has quarter circle and dragon punch inputs for his special moves in classic. 
The PlayStation blog adds Ed is still the psycho-powered boxer you know and love, imbuing his fists with chaotic force and mastering boxing techniques. Scouring the lands to help other ill-fated experiments has significantly upgraded Ed's usage of psycho-power. Psycho Blitz gives Ed another 1-2-3, but in a single special move. Ed unleashes a series of punches cloaked in Psycho Power. The new and improved Psycho Flicker is vital in Ed's ability to control space. Performed on its own, Ed releases a quick flicker jab from a distance in one of three directions to catch the opponent off guard. If you hold this button down, Ed will use his Psycho Snatcher from Street Fighter V to pull his opponents with Psycho Power Tendrils. He also has a further new special known as the Kill Rush and can unleash the Kill Switch Chaser, a powerful uppercut which is said to be easy to combo. The Psycho Storm functions as his level 1 super art, the Psycho Cannon his level 2, and of course his striking looking level 3, the Psycho Chamber, the move we referenced earlier that sees him use opponents as a punch bag. Out of all of the DLC characters announced thus far for Street Fighter 6, Ed is easily generating the most negative responses, with many commenting that they either find the character's design boring, or that his inclusion is a disappointment based on the fact that they feel his roster spot has been wasted when it could have been given to either a completely new face or a Street Fighter legend. Many desire the emergence of previous final bosses, Sagart and M. Bison, for example, where others are annoyed that if we are to be given a pugilist, why have we been given Ed instead of the outrageously more popular Balrog or Dudley? the latter of which has become a huge fan favourite over the years, with the desire of him only growing further after his admission from Street Fighter V. In fact, speaking of boxers, many Street Fighter enthusiasts are perplexed that the boxer was not placed in Street Fighter VI as a playable character on day one. After all, boxers are a pretty standard fighting game archetype, so it's bizarre really that Capcom have waited this long to give us one. But the fact that they have given us the dull-looking, uninspiring Ed over the more gimmicky, legendary fan favourites seems like an odd choice to say the least. It's even stranger when we take into account that Ed was only playable in Street Fighter V previously as a DLC character, suggesting that he was somewhat of an afterthought in the prior generation. So this raises the question, despite all of this, is it finally Ed's time to shine? Well, let's cover his lore from previous Street Fighter games and see what you think, as after all, in some ways, the series lore has set him up with the potential to become the next M. Bison. So let's take a trip down memory lane and explore how this all unfolded. To be able to fully understand this rich narrative, we need to take ourselves all the way back to the Street Fighter Alpha series to remind ourselves of the events that occur around the character Rose. In these games, she uses her unique set of skills and abilities known as Soul Power to try and rid the world of evil energy. Using her mystical fortune telling abilities, she learns of the evil surrounding them Bison, so sets out to eradicate it herself. The second Alpha game retcons the events of the first, but with both of them suggesting that Rose was successful in using her Soul Power to defeat M. Bison. But upon consulting her tarot cards, she learns he is still alive. This leads to a rematch in Alpha 3, which sees Rose transform her fist into a ball of energy and punch straight through Bison's heart. Rather than defeating him, instead this allowed Bison the opportunity to transfer some of his soul and consciousness into Rose, gaining some control over her within. Fast forwarding all the way to Street Fighter 4, if players are able to beat the game as Rose, in her end in a scene plays out whereby M. Bison ambushes her, grabbing her by the face and absorbing his soul and consciousness back into his body. This awakens memories of things he did while in her body, including seeing visions of terrible acts he committed. Amongst this imagery are visions of a boy with a bandage around his head, who would grow up to be the focus of this video. We would later learn that this young boy, known as Ed, who was kidnapped by Shadaloo, would function as one of M. Bison's spare bodies, with the potential of becoming a future vessel for him. Prior to M. Bison Street Fighter 4 return, Ed was stolen by Seth and kept within the Sin Laboratory which provides us with a perfect explanation as to why his stage looks like how it does in Street Fighter 6. Fortunately, the Street Fighter 4 games would allow us to learn what would happen next with the boy. Balrog, while searching for treasure and things of value around the lab, stumbles across Ed. Ed begs Balrog to help him, but appears completely disinterested in him at first. This all changes though the moment he spots the glowing Shadaloo insignia on the boy's hand. So believing the child is of value to him, Balrog rescues Ed from the crumbling lab. 
As they walk away from the building's remains, Balrog questions Ed about what he is capable of, stating that if he's supposed to be a replacement body for Bison, he must be able to do something, such as fly or see into the future. The boy says he cannot do anything by himself, which results in the heartless Balrog telling the boy he is even more worthless than he thought. Balrog insists that since he saved the kid, the kid now has to do something for him. The scene ends with the Shadaloo symbol on the boy's hand glowing. We would get to learn more about this youngster in Street Fighter V, a title that directly follows the events of the previous game. In Street Fighter V, Bison's new enforcer, replacing Sagat, known as Fang, is impressed that Balrog managed to find the boy from Sin Laboratory, but informs him that now Operation Chains is underway, that his actions can be seen as a betrayal, as he took the boy without orders being issued first. The two end up getting into a fight with Balrog winning. Afterwards, the boy comes out revealing to the player for the first time that his name is Ed. In between the events of Street Fighter 4 and 5, it appears that Balrog raised Ed, taking on a sort of paternal role for the boy, who was created as another backup body for M. Bison. Ed has grown into a cocky and flash young man. In A Shadow Falls, the big Street Fighter 5 story angle, Ed helps Balrog take a control key from Zangief that helps control Bison's super weapon, but it is later re-stolen back from them. After Bison is defeated by Ryu at the end of Shadow Falls, Ed and Balrog are seen walking away together. Fortunately, this would not be the last that we would learn about this promising character during Street Fighter V, as a fully grown up Ed would appear as a DLC fighter for the game. In his prologue, named the Nimble Boxer, it highlights Ed and Balrog's relationship further. Essentially, after Bison's defeat, the two took refuge under a waterfall in New Zealand, but Ed was not as safe as he thought. Being an intended replacement body for M. Bison, the spirit of Bison tries to possess Ed's body, but fortunately he is successful in preventing this during his sleep and is woken up by Balrog. Ed informs Balrog that he no longer wants to stay with him, in fear of Balrog eventually getting hurt. Information he has received through a prophecy from Menat, Balrog tells him to just shut up and follow his orders, leading to an emotional fight breaking out between the two of them. Ed manages to defeat Balrog in this encounter, leading to the heavyweight boxer's most uncharacteristic moment in the Street Fighter series yet. Ed's departure not only results in Balrog expressing sadness of being left by the boy he raised like a son, but his anger and aggression is replaced with him emotionally shouting out to Ed to get lost, illustrating the game as maybe there has always been more layers to Balrog than a man who was simply just existing to make as much money as possible. As time progresses, Ed grows into a strong, muscular adult, the very depiction of him who is playable. Due to the experiments that were undertaken upon him as a child, these gave him incredible psycho powers. He also has a unique fighting style that combines boxing techniques that he learned from Balrog with psycho powers like that of M. Bison. This lethal combination makes him a formidable opponent. Speaking of combat, this short blonde haired, piercing blue eyed individual has moves that are much cleaner than those used by the dubious man who raised him. In the game, V skill wise, he can pull off a maneuver known as the Psycho Snatcher, which involves pulling opponents towards himself before attacking, and his V trigger, known as the Psycho Cannon, involves forming a ball of deadly psycho energy which slowly advances towards his support opponents. Variants of these have of course morphed into his modern super arts. As a critical art, he can also pull off what is known as the Psycho Barrage, which sees him unleash a mad flurry of psycho energy fuel punches which culminate in the use of a single uppercut. Techniques like this illustrate his strong links to both Balrog and M. Bison further. Beyond his unconventional moveset, perhaps one of the most intriguing aspects of Ed is the blue uniform he fights in, which upon closer inspection is once again an amalgamation of the fashion choices of Bison and Balrog. As although this costume looks very dictatory, the colour along with the lack of sleeves pays homage to the man who raised him. His second costume features a red military jacket resembling Bison to cover both his shoulders and a corresponding hat on his head. Like Balrog, he wears red boxing gloves with this look. Perhaps the most intriguing part of this look though is the suggestion that Ed, with his psycho powers, precedes M. Bison as the leader of the Shadow Empire, which according to Street Fighter V lore, he very well does. The key difference though is under his watch, he refers to his organisation as Neo Shadaloo, and instead of functioning as a crime syndicate, this new Shadaloo are instead a force for good. A preposterous proposition really, as dumb as if a group of people post World War II decided to label themselves as Neo-Nazis. Not the best image, but I digress. 
The new incarnation of Shadaloo's goals are to reach out and find all the victims of Shadaloo's experiments from the past, with Ed recruiting new members along the way. These include the likes of Falk, a girl he rescued during the events of the Shadow Falls, who was also intended to be one of M. Bison's replacement bodies. Non-binary Bison was ahead of his time. Considering her like a sister, after joining the ludicrously named Neo Shadaloo, the pair spar regularly and get stronger together with this initial pairing coming up with the idea to seek out and help other victims. We don't know a great deal about Neo Shadaloo as of yet, but what we do know is that Ed is capable of ejecting psycho power, Falk can inject psycho power into objects, and a further third as of yet unnamed member of the group has the ability to teleport. On top of this, they are joined by an anthropomorphic gorilla named Baba, who has glowing blue eyes and glowing marks too, suggesting that the original Shadaloo experimented on animals as well as people. This ape is said to be highly intelligent and has inherited all of M. Bison's wisdom. Past this point, canonically in the timeline, it brings us around to Street Fighter VI, to an era where it seems as if Shadaloo may very well still exist with at this moment at least, Ed still refusing to become anyone's pawn. As of today, fans may hate this character due to being deprived of legends such as Balrog and Dudley. But I must say that despite his dull looking design and lack of overall appeal, the lore around this fight was interesting and perhaps deserves a little more exploration. So while we may hate this guy at the moment, for the moments he has robbed us of, Maybe one day we will be clamouring for more Ed. Only time will tell, I guess. Anyway, if you enjoyed this one, subscribe, then check out my ridiculously deep dive video on the rise and fall of Ken Masters. Yeah, cheerio. Catalyst rattling, never hazardous Subdued by all my memories